some of those turned out great. Oh my goodness. Actually, some of these aren't um, project cups. Like this one's not a project cup. It was just something I made. It's the second cup I made on one of the days. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh no. Why isn't that red? I can see underneath there. See underneath here? That's the fireman cup. It looks too dark. Why is it red? You know what? These Shino didn't turn out right. Here's another look. It's so hard to do this with your gloves on. Oh, please Lord. Oh, that just now fell over. Woo! That's close. Okay, let's see. Oh, yay! Mike the Greeks came out really well. Okay, let's take these guys out of here and see what they look like. Get ready to take the second shelf off. Ooh, I see one I like. Really happy. I was worried about my grapes on that one cup because they didn't think they looked like grapes, but it melted in such a way that it made them grapes. Oops, that didn't break anything. Ooh, that one came out good. Oh my goodness. The big reveal. Okay, here is that kiln run. I actually exchanged out videos. I am doing this the same day I'm publishing it. Because um, after taking pictures, I had a little bit more time to think about what I wanted to say about each piece. Um, let's see. I have them all stacked around me here. Well, I'm just going to grab the ones. I, I didn't bring all of them over, just the ones that were in the video that I showed you how I glazed. Um, let's start with this one. Okay, this is the one where I, I textured, textured it with the... Um, packing material that was sent with a cup that Lynn sent to me. So it, it was, it turned out pretty good. I don't know how well you guys can see these. The pictures are a little dark. I'm learning how to take pictures of them. Uh, that one turned out pretty good. I have some favorites and I'm going to save those till last. Um, huge, huge disappointment to me um, is this fireman cup. And I got fire brick and in the picture it looked like it was more red and it's more it's more brick but it, it didn't look like a brick in, in the picture I don't know anyway anyways I'm gonna make Troy another cup <laughs> uh, this one right here Rich Rust the one that I showed you um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about making fine lines I just posted something on Facebook a few minutes ago before I came out here how do people make fine black lines now I used an underglaze over the top of this glaze and it blurs and I don't know if I need to put it on the, the leather hard bisque fire it and then glaze over it but then it's not going to be a distinguishable black line so I'm not really sure how to do that if someone could just explain to me a, a simple way besides incising it I guess you could incise it and put slip over it and then wipe it off and then the dark stays in the line. I don't know. Anyway, explain that one to me. I'd surely appreciate it. And going on that note, <laughs> I'm showing you my disappointments first because I like to end on a happy note. Um, I took an underglazed pencil, never used it before, and I drew on a cup. And this is the cup. And then I had some clear glaze and I covered it in clear glaze. This has got to be the, it, this is a disaster. You can't see anything. It just blurred it out, and then there's bubble marks all over it, cracked, just, and it's cracked all the way around. I quite possibly had too much clear glaze on there now that I think of it, but um, I know if I even had put a thin coat, if I had brushed it on, I would have smeared the underglaze pencil. So I, that's the, the fine dark line. I'd like to be able to draw on these, but I'm not exactly sure the technique to go ahead and do that. I'd like to know because I'd like to do it. Uh, I should go a little bit faster here, huh? This one turned out 
uh, oh, the courtyard glazes, they're actually a low fire glaze, and I used a lot of them on the, on the hand painted ones, and they end up being very drippy, uh, like a, uh, the Pompeii Ash. I can't remember what company makes Pompeii Ash. might be Amico. But that's one where you put it on and it's supposed to drip. This one didn't, but it looks, it still looks pretty good. I, I like how this turned out. It almost looks like a snake skin. I don't know how clear that is to you. Oh, I better go quicker. This one, I love this one. Eh, beginning, middle, end. It was really simple. Covered it in white and it blurred, but I don't mind. It looks pretty good that way. This one, don't like it. Don't want to talk about it. Um, <laughs> I was thinking it was going to be solid gray. And in this case, it, it kind of... And I thought this would be red and this would be gray. And this is drippy gray and this is brown red. So it didn't really turn out like I was expecting. Um, and I'll, use, I'll say this one. This is the uh, Lava Slate. And I took... Uh, under the underglaze squeezer and I put lines down on the bottom. It looks pretty interesting. This one I didn't mind so much that it was blotchy and mottled. It was, it's okay. It's alright. Um, <laughs> I'm getting to the last two that I'm disappointed with and then I'll show you the great ones that I liked. This one, do I have to talk about it? I'm not going to talk about it. Uh, this one could have been amazing. It might be my clear glaze. I put the concepts on the top and I used that same clear glaze as I did on this one. And I have the same bubble marks. So it just may be, a, that is not a good clear glaze. I, it's in a bucket and I don't have any anything. So I, I don't even know what kind it is. But this one, this one could have been really pretty if I had left it plain. Because the concept I think would have gone more satin if I had just left it alone. But anyway, cute cup, unfortunate mishap with the bubbles. Now, we're getting to the good ones. This one rocked. Even though that didn't come out red, which I was hoping it would, this, I don't know, I like this one. It looks like real wood. That makes me happy. And that's what I wanted. So, uh, yeah, let's see if you can, how clear you can see that. Real wood, it looks like real wood. Um, next, next, next. This one. I think this one turned out pretty awesome. This would have been great if it were solid, but it's still, like right here, that looks pretty cool that it's drippy. Um, yeah, I found out that it makes the satin texture for these underglazes that I was using on the cups. It turned out pretty good. Uh, yeah. My grapes. I'm so happy with these grapes. I wish you could see them up close, and I don't even know if my pictures are going to show it, because it's right in the, the glare line. You know, it curves right here, and then the reflection, but maybe this will, maybe you can see it from here. I'll move them in. It's a little wine cup. I'm going to make some more of these for myself, I think, but bigger, a little bit bigger, because it's actually quite comfortable. Um... This one, awesome. I just love it. Some people will love it, some people will hate it, but I just love this thing. I do. I just, it came out rugged and I like it. <laughs> this one right here, this was the one that got messed up because I didn't finish it and I really, I really like the waves and I'm going to try and zoom in. I don't know. I'm going to show you a little slideshow of all the all the cups when I'm done talking here. But this one turned out pretty good. Even though that was supposed to be red, um, the person I made it for said it looked like wood. And I'm all, okay, that'll work for me. So this one turned out a whole lot better than I expected. Now, I have two cups left that uh, I'm not sure. Are they're, my, they're my favorites, and I can't pick which one is more so. But this color is beautiful. I love how this cup turned out. And to me, this was kind of a dull cup before I started. It was alright. But now, for some reason, it's just amazing. It's amazing. I like it. And this is on day 11. So the form was day 11. I'm impressed with my day 11. <laughs> I think this one's my favorite. Yeah. Juxtapose. I named this one. And uh, this was day 15's cup and I saved it because I really wanted it to be a special glaze and I took a chance because I hadn't seen this one perfect I just had a sample but anyway 
that's it for that one. Uh, get ready. I'm going to show you the slideshow that goes along with the cups that I just shared with you. If you have any questions, comments, input, put it down below. I'd really appreciate it. And thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.